What are we making? We're making broccoli cheese stuffed shells. Mmm, sounds good. With some sauce. Uh, takes a 15 ounce package. This is only a 12 ounce package. What? Uh, no, hold on. I'm sorry. Er, back that up. We need 15 ounces of ricotta cheese, 10 ounces of frozen broccoli, thawed, well drained. I have to chop that still. We have four ounces of mozzarella that I have to shred here on top of it. We have grated Parmesan here. This is a little bit of Parmesan. And uh, we have some pepper that we need. <laughs> and we have this, these jumbo shells also. And uh, our jar of Prego is a little small. It calls for a 28, 27 ounce. And they've uh, shrinkflation, I guess, got us. This is an old recipe. It is now 23 ounces. Yeah, everything's less and more money. Less <clears throat> product, more dollars. Yep, so I'm gonna start with chopping the broccoli. Want me to preheat the oven? Yeah, preheat, uh, oven is preheated. Oh, to 400. Water's boiling for the shells. This is ready to go? Yeah. The water's boiling for the shells. Yeah. Ooh, jumbo shells. Shells are so large. Okay, and the these directions say 14 to 15 minutes. That's kind of a lot. Yeah. You okay. would think you would want them. Um, or a little more al dente. Since we're gonna bake it. Well, then we'll go yeah. 14. <laughs> or 12. Let me read that again, make sure there weren't any. 12, I say. Chop the broccoli. You want it pretty small. Just to grate the mozzarella. And grate the Parmesan. I need a third cup of Parmesan. Oh, I think I got. Ooh, got some. Yeah, I think I got more than, just a little more than a third of a cup. All right, all right, good deal. How much mozzarella do you need? I said I only needed, well, I need a, a four ounces is what uh, it says for here, but it, it's, Divided. Okay. Okay. Uh, it says for me to take the uh, the broccoli. The broccoli. The broccoli. And add the ricotta. How much ricotta again? Fifteen ounces. Half a cup of mozzarella. Teaspoon of pepper. <laughs> We're gonna add. I got three quarter tablespoon spoon, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll not quite do that. Much. So about half. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot for about a half. Teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of pepper. It didn't call for any salt. I'm assuming because the cheese is salty. I almost feel like I need to put some salt in there. Just a dash. Just a salt. Stop it. Salt. Oh, stop. Together. So now we just wait on the pasta, basically. Yep. And then you just spoon it. It's time. Look at the nice shells. We're 
and some cold water to cool them so we can handle them. Yeah, yeah. To stop the cooking. I got the stuff to show. spaghetti sauce down in the pan. Blop, blop, blop. Hey, pretty blops. repeat for a lot of shells, lot of shells. Mm -hmm. yeah. do you think oh was that one big is it too big we don't quite no. know it's been quite a while since i've made this thing it's i would great. say film mm, my feels say that's pretty good Add the remaining sauce on the top of the pasta and spread out evenly to coat. And then we sprinkle with mozzarella. Into the oven. For 25. See you later. It's time. All the cheese. I steamed my glasses. Mm. <laughs> that looks pretty, pretty bubbly. It does. Hot and bubbly. That's what it called for. That's what we do. You don't have to let that cool. You better. I'd say. Back to give it a taste. Mmm. Smells cheesy. One shell. Look that shell. That is a shell. That's a stuffed shell. Inside, it looks like. Let's use it. Now.